and we're back to learning Premiere Pro and this time I'm going to show you a simple text glitch effect. Let me just create a simple background, so right click new item, black video, and I'm going to use the typical size for YouTube videos, so 90, 20 times 1080, and I drag it into my timeline. Around 5 to 10 seconds should be enough to show the effect. And now use the type tool, you can also press T, and then on your preview window type in some text. I call it glitch effect and I size it up. In the effect controls I can now find it, so right here. I can open a drop down and then adjust the text, for example use a different font or a different style. But I'm going to keep this bold Mimit Pro. You should have that by default as well, so that you can recreate it exactly as it is here. If you can't find the effect controls, go to Window, Effect Controls. And we also need the Effects menu, so click on it as well if you can't see that. And we need the Wave Warp effect. But let me first hold Alt and I copy my text element, so I've got two. And I resize them so that they have the same size as the background. And now I drag the Wave Warp on the first one, so the one on Video Channel 3. The second one doesn't have the Wave Warp. And here for our video channel 3, we've got the wave warp. There are a couple of wave types that we can choose by default. I'll just use the square, but any will do. The direction, it determines if it's vertical, diagonal, or horizontal. For 0 and 180 degrees, it's horizontal. We want to pick that. Wave height and width adjust kind of like how much the glitch expands, you could say. Pick something that you like and it fits in your video or your text. The wave speed. If it's low, you can see the glitch is very slow. But at around 5 to 10, it becomes as fast as we need it. I'm going to stick with 10. And now we can start. Just watch this number right here. And then I use the arrow keys to the right to go frame by frame to the right side. And then I use the cut tool, I can press C for that, and I create these cuts. Try to be random here, so I use 3 frames, then 2, then 4, then 2 again, something like this, to make this glitch appear more random. And then always reposition the gaps with your file in video channel 2, so the second text that doesn't have a glitch. It's quickly done if you use the short key C and short key V for your cursor tool. In the end, you can just select them all, hold Alt and drag copies to the right to expand it. And now this is what we've got. We can randomize it further by using the scale on the motion, right here. So for the elements on Widget Channel 3, I give them random scalings. I don't go too far away from the 100, which is the original size. I use 101, 102. 99.98, something like this. And now let me roll it again. And it's now even more randomized. You may want to expand the last element on video channel 2, which is the text without the glitch. But this is a general process to create this typical text glitch effect in Premiere Pro. I hope this video was helpful, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.